Good Monday morning, Mount Olive Church. Um, I'm here to bring you your Monday devotion. Uh, going off Brother TJ's message yesterday, um, to know him and to make him known. And we went out of Psalms chapter 86 yesterday, and um, it was on compassion. Just want to stop for a second before we start this devotion and just say how thankful I am that that Brother TJ, he to the calling. God woke him up at 6 a.m. as he told us this morning and and changed his whole message. He had a message that he was thought he was supposed to deliver, and, and God changed that. And I'm just so thankful for, for Brother TJ's obedience and, and getting up and, and getting this ready for us um, because it was a truly a wonderful message that we all needed to hear. So, compassion. Psalm 86 and 15 says, But thou, O Lord, art a God full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy and truth. All right? Jesus is full of compassion. It, it talks about it a lot in the Bible, in the Old Testament. Um, compassion. Deep-seated emotion, and the word Brother TJ used in his sermon yesterday was rackum, that motivates action to share and to relieve suffering. All right, 1 Kings 3 and 26 says, Then spake the woman whose the living child was unto the king. For her bowels yearn upon her son, and she said, O oh my Lord, give her the living child, and in no way and in no wise slay it. But the other said, Let it be neither mine nor thine, but divide it. All right. Jesus is a God who cares about us. God has deep feelings for us. God is moved deeply when we suffer. And God wants to be involved and share and, and give relief during our sufferings. God doesn't, God doesn't want us to have to suffer. But we all know that suffering is a part of life. And Jesus wants to be there for us whenever we're going through battles, whenever we're going through trials, whenever we're going through Anything in life, God wants us to know that he is right there. All we have to do is talk to him, and he will show us compassion and give us relief during our time of need. It doesn't matter what we're going through. Jesus will always be there for us, and he will show us compassion. And, and He's. it may not be, we may be dealing with something, and we may want that answer now. We may we may grieve for or go through something for years, several years. My wife and I went through not being able to have a child for five years, and and we were we were upset and we were angry at times, and we were we were just down and out. But we prayed to Jesus and we talked to him and we turned it over to him. And Jesus showed compassion to us and blessed us with four beautiful children. Um, so it may be a timely thing. It may be time. We may have to sit and wait and and just, you know, when it's when it's the right time, God shows up. But we have to make sure that even when we see somebody else going through anything, any type of suffering, any type of just, they're not having their best day. We've got to be like Jesus and show them compassion. The Bible talks about compassion and how Jesus showed compassion to others. And we have to make sure that we're showing compassion to our co-workers, our friends, our co-teachers, uh, uh, our students, whatever it is. We have to make sure that we're showing compassion and we're there because we may be, we may have the words that they need. And if we show them compassion, they're going to listen to us and it may lead them to Christ one day. 
So we're going to talk about showing compassion here and, and, and how a father showed compassion on his son. And we're going to talk about the prodigal. And we all know the story. The prodigal went to his father and he asked for, for his part of his inheritance. And he, and he went out into the world and he, and he used that money and he wasted it and, and done things that he wasn't supposed to do and, and ended up living and eating with the pigs and, he knew that that's not the life that that his father had showed him and he had just went off on his own and done this, but he was embarrassed and didn't know what his father was going to do. But I want you to listen right here in Luke 15 and 20. When he finally realized that he had nowhere else to go, he was living with the pigs and eating with the pigs. He had nowhere to go and he needed to go home to his father. Luke 15 and 20 says, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great off, a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. Guys and gals that's listening to this, there's going to be times that we feel like we're, and in the past, we felt like we were far and we were away from Jesus and we'd run off to try to do something on our own and, and we didn't involve Jesus in our in our plans, um, just like the Father here in Luke and 15, Jesus is wanting us to come home to our Father, our Heavenly Father, so He can show us compassion and we can have an eternal life with Him in heaven. Again, wonderful message yesterday by Brother TJ. I hope you gained something from this devotion on this Monday. I hope you all have a wonderful day, Mount Olive Church. I love you. I'm praying for you. Have a great day.